What's going on, famous entertainer, motivator, educator, Lucky Mary, back with another game caught news update. Today, we're speaking about a coach that is hired for the South Carolina Gamecocks. Lamont Paris uh, is the first black head coach of the program. Um, reportedly, he signed a five year deal for an undisclosed amount of money uh, to be the next South Carolina head coach. We'll talk a little bit about that before I go any further, man. Go to Patreon.com. Um, yes, that's where you get exclusive content. I will be putting out. A video probably tonight about uh, a breakdown about this tonight. Uh, so you don't want to miss that. So go to patreon.com for us. That's Lucky Murray. All exclusive content. You don't want to miss it. Two. Get this shirt. And Derek, I got the shirt coming for you this week. You know, Derek is one of my uh, uh, Heisman uh, level Patreons. I, he get a, a shirt once a year. That's the shirt. We're going to get it. So I got it coming towards you. If you want a shirt, go to the link below. It is right there. You can't do that. Y'all know what to do. Like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like every time I drop a video. Three, share the video, helps out a ton. So let's get into this. Man. So, South Carolina basketball reportedly hired Lamont Paris as new head coach. Reddish promised media reaction. South Carolina basketball is reportedly hiring Chad Nugas, Lamont Paris, as his next head coach, the latest leader of a mid-major program to land a top-end job during the NCAA tournament. Paris, who is set to replace a recently fired Frank Martin after 10 seasons, led the Monks to a big dance this spring and nearly upended fourth-seeded Illinois in the opening round. South Carolina coach search spent a week's time including interviews with former Arizona coach Sean Miller, Furman's Bob Ritchie, Wake Forest assistant B.J. Mackey, and Murray State's Mac McMahon. All three of those coaches decided to stay or go somewhere else except for B.J. Mackey, but among others, Paris met the Gamecocks official Saturday, Sunday and was offered the job Monday afternoon, according to John Whittle of the Big Spur. Paris is a, the first black head coach in the history of the program. The Gamecocks are coming off an 18-13 season with a 9-9 record in SEC, but the program plateaued in recent years under Martin and so far, computer numbers kept South Carolina out of the NIT this season. The program appeared and the NCAA tournament once under Martin reaches the final four during the memorable 2016-2017 campaign. So here's his record for five seasons. He was 10 and 23, 3 15 in the SOCON. He was 12 and 20, 20 and 13, 18 and 8, 27 and 8. <laughs> took a very strong mid-major program. Took a very struggling mid-major program and turned into a conference champion in five seasons. Ah, it, it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. Um, one thing that's oppressive is uh, the fact that the first season was 10 and 23, 12 and 20, 20 and 13, 18 and 8, 27 and 8. So he won, he almost won 20 games the past three seasons. And we got to think when you're at a mid major, only one or two teams get in from that conference. So the fact that he was tournament champions and the NCAA bid. Paris was given time to struggle at Chattanooga, his first head coaching position to build a program, and did so with players by his third season. Improvement the next two years ultimately led to an NCAA tournament berth this season and a SOCON title. So, SEC hires Georgia Mike White, Missouri Dennis Gates, Mississippi State Chris Johns, Florida Todd Golden, LSU Matt McMahon, which that was a Murray State coach, and in South Carolina Lamont Paris. One coach who got out before he was let go and five other mid-major coaches. Tough to poach guys from other high-major spots. Right? So let's read uh, uh, Chris. It says, for Gamecocks men's basketball, fans wonder about your new coach. I teach at Chattanooga and have gotten to know Lamont Paris. He's smart, media savvy, and confident. He knows how to build. He has to use the portal at UTC, but he'll try to develop freshmen at SC. And he learned from Bo Ryan. Yeah, you know what? You know, so another guy said, realistically, the frustration that is being seen with the Lamont Paris hires has more to do with the way the process played out rather than the decision itself. And somebody said, Chat New Coach Lamont Paris sure sounds like he wants to go small against Kofi Cockburns at times and stretch him out defensively. All right, so, 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 so. Wanted some background on Lamont uh, Paris. I reached out to Wes Ashley's Trey McLean who had a tremendous career at Chattanooga and graduated the season before Paris came in. I think this text says a lot about the character of the guy who reportedly will likely be USC's guy. What's up, Scott? I met Coach Paris once or twice when he first got the job, but I have a lot of respect for him. He has always shown my mom love when UTC would come to the Citadel, always made sure to come speak with her 
after the game and would send her fresh UTC gear, but I haven't had a chance to really connect with him. That's big time higher. So, right? I want to give me one second, guys. Give me one second. I can't give y'all my sources. I can't give y'all my sources where I go get my information from. I can't do that. I cannot do that. So, Lamont also talks about recruiting because a lot of people is like, oh, well, you know, Lamont is not from South Carolina. How can he recruit the state? So, he had a quote that I wanted to kind of reach out, right? Um, so, here's his one quote, right? Hold on, I'm reading this. Okay, okay, okay. So, real quick. So, they spoke to Chattanooga on Tuesday afternoon. Paris didn't com- comment on the USC with radio hosts making notes that the news is not official and that Paris is still the mock's coach at present. However, Paris, known for recruiting ability, is an assistant at Wisconsin, did feel the question about whether he's ever recruited in the Department of State. Not much, Paris said. So, luckily, it doesn't just come down to where a person's from or where they've been, I mean. We recruited a kid when I was at Akron. His name was Jimmy C. from Baltimore, and he ended up being a first-team All-League and Defensive Player of the Year. We have never recruited a kid from Baltimore ever before, right? And also, here's what he said. He said, you know, I get it, Paris said. But in the day, you're going to recruit hard and be successful with it or you're not. I've always recruited well in the state I live in. Listen, so what I think, um, I think if he can build a program and have those different um, levels of success at Chattanooga, I mean, turn it from a very terrible struggling team to a conference tournament in five years with the resource that South Carolina has. And, you know, we got very good players in the state. Could And then also you got the transfer portal that you didn't have a few years ago. Could we see a fast turnaround? It could, it's possible. It's possible. Last year, Frank Martin was, uh, what, 3 and 15, 18, I think. Um, this year, he was 18 and 13. Um, I think it could happen. It just really depends on his philosophy of, of this team. Now, the SEC is tough. Don't get me wrong, but it's doable. It's winnable. Um, I'm just... I'm just really excited about what did they see in them. I didn't see the record, but looking at the record, it's like, hmm, that's pretty good. And I think one thing that B.J. Mackey didn't have was he didn't have any head coach basketball experience at a big-time school, which I wish that somebody would give him an opportunity. I felt like Presbyterian should give B.J. Mackey an opportunity. But I think, listen, for all it's worth, it's a shot. It's a good shot. The only thing I'm concerned about was we had Darren Horn. Remember that guy from Western Kentucky led them to a tournament bid? He got the South Carolina job. It was a complete disaster. So he could go either way. It can be really good or it could be really terrible. But here's what I need you to do, people, because I'm just a man behind the camera. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Again, it's an entertaining, motivated, educated, and please don't forget our three. Lucky Mary back with another Gamecock News update today. I'm speaking about Lamont Paris, the first black head coach for South Carolina. Got the job over Frank Martin, uh, led Chattanooga uh, from a 10-23 record to conference tournament champions in five years. Let's say if South Carolina could win the SEC in five years and go to the tournament, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this could this could definitely work. But let me know what you think about the comment section below. But like always, <gasps> it's the next time, people.